<laughs> Poor Andrew just ran into me. It did not end well for him. I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. Oh. <laughs> Furious skills showcase, Ash. Well, I mean, did Furious mean anything in that game? I. That's where I struggle, man. The only thing right, is bad so team in AE. At least I'm not suffering in SEA. So the tier 9 Adriatico is the Italian Early Access DD. Right. And yeah, it can be fun. It can be a pain in the butt to get used to. It's more of a support DD than it is a Paulo Emilio style. Okay. If you're back into the corner, you can definitely pull off one YOLO at a time. I think if I remember right, I saw Toxic Symphony calling it the Adriatic No. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but that's that's generally the whole line. They're more support DDs. Their HE isn't that good, but the sap on them, oh, it just rips apart other destroyers. Sure. All right. Um, well, let's see what you do with this. You are by yourself. Uh, you are middle tier, although there aren't that many tier 10s in this game. You've got a gearing and a Yamato to deal with. Radar-wise, you've got nothing, you lucky son of a bee. There's the Kearsarge with his planes that could spot you. And then there's the Rune German Hydro. Johan de Vuel has Hydro. Marker has Hydro. And there's the use U190. Okay. Not main gun build. Interesting. Not what build? Main gun. Ah, did you build for torpedoes? Yes, I'm ambush spec. <laughs> ambush spec Brother. is okay. Oh, you horrible man. Marker does not have hydro. <laughs> oh, you're right. That's the. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of the. The uh, original German destroyer line. Don't worry, he got ambushed pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, but by something with hydro where I don't have hydro. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's what you get, Shouldn't son. Shouldn't have popped the smoke cloud. Oh, look, there's a smoke cloud. Let me just push my screw you torpedo button. <laughs> <laughs> and now we see the weakness of the Italian destroyer line. And the idea of YOLO rushing things. Maybe if I didn't smoke, I could have killed you. You only had, like, 4K HP. And that sap hits for 4K a pop. What's the smoke here for? Uh, I got spotted. You didn't. You didn't. No, I didn't. No. no I don't remember. You're in oh, the... Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I remember now. Because I pushed out the other destroyer that was in the cab. Okay. Wait, there wasn't a DD in the cap yet. It was it was being stopped, so there was somebody else in the okay. cap, so most likely a destroyer. Um, but this is very aggressive when I argue you don't need to. If you were just stayed on the other side of the island, you probably would have gotten the free cap. This feels too aggressive. That's what I mean, right. And you're going to torpedo the darkness there, because the St. Louis is sailing away from you. Uh-oh, you're detected. I can't remember by what. The the big big issue with the Italian DDs, well they can handle DDs, they other DDs they can't outspot them unless it's like a Gronigan or mm -hmm. they're not running the, the concealment spec and all that stuff. But yeah. There's like a few destroyers that it can outspot, the rest <laughs> they can't. Darkness is scary. Fight it with torpedoes. That's right, Cochlin. Uh what what's its max conceal? Um, six nine. Yeah, right now oh, it's six point okay, nine. Okay, so the same as my Gumo. Right. Same as your what? My Haragumo. Oh, okay. Really, your Haragumo was six point nine? Because I uh, so the way I build my Gumo is I I think I only run the concealment mod or equipment thing. Okay. Because I focus on my guns mm -hmm. with the commander. So. Okay. I mean, you can get away with that. And one of the nice things with, like, Haragumo is you don't want to be so close to somebody because you just get wrecked. 
there's a good reason I have a 15 kilometer gun range. Mm -hmm. Look, it's the gearing. Time to tear him up with sap. Yep. And you'll see just how badly the sap hits when it's back in the destroyers. Oh, sap is so annoying for DDs. Mm -hmm. Oh, when ranked just before the prior two seasons, I, I, when ranked was tier 10, I decided, hey, I'll play my Venezia in ranked. Mm -hmm. And so what happened was I came around a corner on, I think, Tears of the Desert. And there was a full HP Elbing. I had Sap ready for him. Needless to say, he died instantly. <laughs> By the way, I don't know that your your smoke here was necessary. Um, as as Grunty is mentioning, uh, the gearing was smoking himself, so uh, I don't know that you gained anything from smoking yourself right there. I can see why he would, because now, I mean, as long as he doesn't get spotted here, I mean, he's going to shoot again, but... Well, but I I'm... guess the smoke would be to keep him from getting hit by the other ships near there. Is he would well, have taken a lot of damage from those. Of course. So that's what I mean. Like, if you get spotted, sure, you can smoke. But I didn't think anything else was going to spot him. Like, look at the rune right now. Now's a good time to use that smoke. And I would argue, too, if you uh, are out in the open and you're detected, you can also use your engine boost to get yourself that extra, extra shimmy shimmy, you know, uh, movement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I built into the torpedoes an extended duration of the consumables. Mm -hmm. So it's more of a ambush spec for a clearly non polo meal TP. <laughs> right. Uh, Ole just killed the, the rune. Looked like that was going to happen, so that's okay. Well, the Apollo Emilio is a tier 9 version of the uh, tier 10 DD, correct? Yeah, there's, I think they're the same ship. Pretty much. Now, yeah. You were detected briefly by the plane, and I have a feeling we might see a rush here, depending on which way the Soyuz turns. You waited too long to smoke, though. You waited till you were detected before smoking, and I don't know that you want that Soyuz to know where you were before you smoked. As you can see, he's already turning away from you. No spoilers. No spoilers. Well, if he had smoked any sooner, the Soyuz would have started turning out sooner, I think. No, not necessarily. I mean, it, it, there's one thing. Not, there's one thing to say about seeing something on the mini map. It's another thing about like, you know, seeing the smoke and realizing, oh crap, there's a destroyer here. Um, yeah. You know, and you have to remember too on the mini map when a destroyer gets spotted, there's usually an audio cue as well that says enemy destroyer spotted. Yes, but some players may not necessarily be wearing a headset. Well, true. He has a he has a point. I have to say it. He has a point. So this did the Soyuz ground himself? <laughs> yes. Looks I like he did. No spoilers. Looks like he did. Cack. Well, but he deserves what's coming this. next. I wouldn't shoot unless you don't think you'll kill this guy. Yeah, there you go. Because you want to make sure you stay dark afterwards. Okay. A douche. Skadoosh. And that's all she wrote, folks. Not necessarily, because you are driving towards a Johan de Whale, and uh, you have no smoker or engines available. And so, I also yeah. know he has hydro. Right. So. I mean, I'm not sure why you're tur ducking in behind this island. I think you'd be better off just heading due north. It works out for the better. He did lose a lot of HP for this. He did get the kill, but yeah. Yeah, he lost a lot of HP for that kill. Just boost your adrenaline rush. Assuming yeah, I mean, he's true. I wanted to block his cap in the cap, so... This was literally my only move, is to hide behind this particular island. And while he had the Hydra going, I knew I couldn't move out because there was a battleship. Yeah. And I didn't know where the GJ uh, was at the time. You're lucky the Amato doesn't care that you exist. Very lucky. Um, 
And then, I mean, you're up on two ships now because the Predisi just died, so sitting here is okay. Please move. Oh. Yo, and they will drop some bombs. They completely miss. Ah, uh, so you know remember. that his smoke is out, his hydro's out, so you're just gonna YOLO him now. Yep. Okay. But don't you, uh, hard spot him? At two kilometer, yes. There he is. Yeah. Oh, you got lucky he didn't stun a torpedo or both of them. Feels bad, buddy. Wow. You don't need to see the YOLO, you just need a charge. That smoke, <laughs> Grunty, I kind of feel like that smoke was okay because it got you closer before you got detected, which could have saved a little bit of reaction time on part of the of, of that uh, cruiser. Um, I think of all the smokes, this was the best used one. Agreed. Now the first two were kind of needless, at least. Oh, yeah. You're up by two ships right now. If your torpedoes reload in time, you might be able to envisit torp that Yami, which seems to it be looks, straight lining. It looks like that's what you're trying to do. Looks like that's what he's trying to set up, at least. If but I then, remember right, I did. I, I can't remember. I do know I do one fire no YOLO charge, but I'm not gonna say on who. Hold on, what do you mean you can't remember? Do you know how many battles I've been playing in this thing to get the XP to get the fr tier 10 for free? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had this ship. Well, you can. Just spend doubloons for it. Yeah, which yeah, I can't. Okay, okay. then wait okay, a month so and then grind for it. Oh. That's gonna be painful. Grind, baby, grind. I'll say one thing: the 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 um, battle cruiser line. I obviously wailed out. We all know I wailed out. I had a lot of fun with this, but after this match, I, I started to notice a lot of the strengths and weaknesses of the Italian TDs made it kind of regrettable to me. Hang on, battle cruiser? Was it trying to rush a hydro ship? No. <laughs> it was <laughs> getting outspotted all the time by other DDs. It is frustrating when that happens, isn't it? No, wait, hang on. Uh, Battle Cruiser, you mean the French? Schlieffen line. Oh, Schlieffen, yes. Schlieffen is a lot of fun. Oh, I, I will a lot say of that. Rupert. <laughs> <laughs> playing Rupert fully upgraded is kind of like playing Schlieffen. They're, they're the same ship at that point, yeah. Yeah, at that but, point they're basically the same ship. But again, I had Rupert in early access, and no one knew what to make of it or how. Like the the, the general, I don't know how to put this. A lot of people just didn't understand how Rupert would work or that it had torps, and it caught a lot of people by surprise. Mm -hmm. And I, uh. I think. Leafing can still catch people off guard because not necessarily many know how to deal with a ship that pops up at 12 and a half kilometers away from them. This poor <laughs> monarch. Just, what did just this secondaries galore? What did yep. this monarch do against you? He killed me. <laughs> oh, good. I'll get ready for a death. Was it That's why I shared this one with you. <laughs> Uh, he was ready for you though, like he was looking right at you. Oh, I don't know why better. you crossed in front of him like that. I think it might have been better to turn south in that instance. Quack well, you, I hope thing, you're I, here. I had no sight on him, so I didn't know if he was going Aww. to the left, to the right, or straight. But, but, I got both racks off. That's all that matters. Well, you didn't kill him. You hurt him a lot. You might flood him out, but 
He didn't kill my uh, he, had his, he had his uh, repair ready. Rip. At least you got some damage. But that's a fun shot there with the torpedo splashy splashy. Mm-hmm. Yep, I see his repair uh, welding going on right now. Yeah, he had no sight because he turned in front of him. Exactly. So if he turned south, it might have been a better chance of spotting him. I mean, you're going to win this game anyways, right? You're up a ship now, and you're, you've got all three caps. Um, so there you go. <sighs> oh, I see a car knot on your team. What's Out of curiosity, what's your guys' opinion of that uh, tier 9 French ship? I don't like it, but I've seen people do ridiculous things with it. Same. <laughs> like, during the uh, French Rupert match Zath covered, the car knot on my team blabbed the rig up all the way across the map. Mm. Like, just, oh my god. Just dev struck a man of existence. <laughs> That's funny. If you're oh. as, as long as you're the Carno and not the Riga, yes, it's hilarious. <laughs> All right. Well, that takes care of that replay, guys. 